Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of my Dawncraft Adventure Survival Series and my very first YouTube video. Now for those of you that don't know, Dawncraft is a mod pack that was just released this month of March of 2023. Now if you haven't seen it already, you should definitely check out the trailer for Dawncraft by Bastilia. Him and his team spent a whole year creating this mod pack and it looks really good and I'm super excited to play it. It's got tons of mods, custom bosses, creatures, quests, and structures. So it's basically an RPG game, but in Minecraft. Now, I've never done a full playthrough before, so it'll be a first time learning experience for me, and hopefully for the rest of you too. So without further ado, let's create our world. Let's call this Dawncraft Survival and create new world. Now I heard it takes some time for it to generate the world. So we'll be back once it's generated. And the world has been generated. Welcome to Dawncraft. Now here we spawn right next to a plant named Korok. So let's talk to him and see what he has to say. Can I talk to you? Oh, there we go. Hail fellow, you're finally awake. Welcome to our world. You must be confused as to why you ended up here and who you're speaking to, no? Well, regardless, I will begin my disquisition, as I do with every adventurer summoned here. You are summoned here to defeat the Ender Dragon. Fabled beasts like giants, werewolves, and even other dragons started appearing two winters ago wrecking havoc and disrupting the balance of our realm. Our elders told us that the Ender Dragon has been blighted by a certain malicious deity, and that both the dragon and the deity must be destroyed to bring peace to our realm. Thus, we call forth your aid, brave adventurer. <laughs> Obtain at least 12 mystic eyes. Use them to locate and open the gateway into the end. A few of these eyes can be crafted, but most are held by powerful entities. We don't know who or where these entities are, but the native inhabitants might have a clue. Look for their guild masters. They are the most knowledgeable when it comes to these matters. You will need to get stronger, way stronger. The native inhabitants may also teach you different fighting skills if you treat them well at least. As a general rule of thumb, don't attack or steal from them. They are not a forgetful bunch. They are, however, forgiving if you pay off your sin through their ledger chest. Also here, take a spirit orb. Collect four of them to upgrade your health or stamina. If you ever see one of my kind, interact with them and prove to them your prowess and intellect. They will surely give you something in return. If you ever forget these information, an adventurer told me once that he jotted it down in a place called the wiki. He said a seasoned adventurer will know what it means. I wish you well on your journey, my sweeting. Expect tough obstacles and roadblocks ahead, but know that they will only make you stronger. God be with ye. Thanks. Oh, oh, we got a spirit orb. All right. So let's get started. Let's start by chopping down uh, some trees. Let's go over here. So there appears to be a stamina bar, so that green circle. So once that runs out, I will stop sprinting. So we have to let it recharge. Blossom log. Interesting. All right. So you have to break quite a few, but I believe this will break the entire tree. There we go. All right. Pigs. All right. So we got a ton of wood just from doing that. Got everything? Yep. All right. So let's get ourselves some good crafting table, some sticks, and let's find some stone. Is this stone? Yes, it is. Let's create a pickaxe. Now, the textures in this mod is very different. This is a pickaxe. 
So definitely different from what I am used to. Stone Age. Right? Let's get ourselves an upgrade. Let's get an axe as well. Okay, let's gather a few more cobble. Now, the goal of this survival is to defeat the Ender Dragon. But in order to defeat the Ender Dragon, in order to get to the end, as Korak said, we need to collect uh, eyes of en different eyes of Ender. Now, if we look up eye, this mod pack adds in a ton of different types of eyes of Ender, and we need to collect different types. So we need to collect 12 of these. There's more than 12, but we need to collect 12 different eyes of Ender in order to reach the end so that's going to be our mission now the way we find these eyes of ender is to through guild masters and they are found in villages so our first order of business is to find a village so let's see if we can find one Now, one thing I do want to mention is that the way we move in this mod pack is different. So if I go into third person view, as you can see, the way we move is way different. We're actually walking and we're actually running. And the way we attack too is different. So right now I am in um, mining mode. But if I toggle it to combat mode and the default key is R, we are actually swinging our sword. So how cool is that? So if we try it against this cow, sorry cow. <laughs> there we go. So that is the combat system in this mod. So. It actually doesn't look that bad to play in a uh, third person mode. So sometimes you'll probably see me switching between first person and third person. Hopefully that's not a nuisance, but it looks cool that way. All right, so let's see what this is. Enchanting tower, okay. Oh, so we have books. I hope there's no enemies in this tower. You can never be too sure. Let's check. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we have um, an old villager. I don't think I can interact with you. But there's some loot chests. So let's see what we have. Oh, a lengthy iron pickaxe of quarrying. So, uh, throughout this world, we can find different uh, tools, and they're highlighted in either green or different colors. And they're basically buffed up versions of their regular counterparts. So, this one has 15%, plus 15% base mining speed and reach distance. So, that's pretty cool. This is an iron pickaxe, so we can actually put away our stone pickaxe. We don't need this anymore. Paper. Okay, we'll take paper. Books. We'll take books and a book and quill. We'll take that as well. Enchanted book, fortune too. I don't think we need these because they're all um, use have different enchantments on them. Potion of strength. Sure. A necrotic gem. I am not sure what these gems do. But I'm afraid I won't have inventory space for it. Another wart. A golden apple. We'll take a golden apple. Okay. And these are sacks. I believe you can open these too. Warped fungus. Well, we don't need warped fungus, but we can take the sack, I believe. There we go, and I believe we can open it. Uh, can we right-click it? 
No. But we can carry it around and it basically acts like a shulker box. So we can put our spirit orb in there, book and quill, paper books, emeralds. Let's see. We'll keep that for now. We don't need the warp fungus. But we can take this gem though. Put it in there. All right. Nice. Oh, let's see what else is here. Crafting table, we can take another one. Loot chest. Destructive stone shovel. Okay, we don't have a shovel yet. Pumpkin pie, clay ball, raw iron, leather will take, raw iron, flesh. It's already getting nighttime. Charcoal. Sure. Deep slate furnace. All right, we can take that. Oh, they all have charcoal. Okay. And we'll take some regular furnaces. And we'll switch it out. I'll place this back down. Oh, we have another sack here? Nothing. Okay, but we can take you. For extra storage. And nothing else. So, let's sleep through the night. Alright. Alright. Thank you, good man. I, uh, I should take this bed. Then here. Alright. So now we have a bed with us. Let us be on our way. Now there's a ton of new creatures in this mod. I'm definitely not familiar with all of them. And a lot of them are dangerous. You are not dangerous. And you can fall through leaves. Fantastic. So, let's see what we can find. Yellowstone biome. Interesting. This mod pack includes a lot more biomes. Any nearby settlements? Or villages. Bread. Let's eat, um, let's get eat pumpkin pie first. And that is an ogre. Oh no! No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Don't come after me. Okay. We're not strong enough to mess with him yet. Let's go this way. Stamina bar is going to be a nuisance because I have to wait for it to recharge every single time. But there are ways to increase your stamina, and that's with uh, the spirit orbs that I got earlier. So we can actually upgrade our stamina with those. But we need more. Oh, is that a house? That is a house. What is this? Seashell. Alright, let's investigate this house. Coconut lock. Interesting. Okay, friendly or not? It's a stable. Hello? Anybody home? These are loot barrels. Wheat. We can craft bread with this. Exactly. Carrots. More bread. Excellent. Wheat seeds. We don't need. More bread. Potatoes. Oh. Hello, good sir. 
Lillian or ma'am. Carrots. And horses. Now, I don't have a saddle, so I wouldn't have use for a horse right now. But this is not a village, so we might have to keep going. Alright, we'll have to cross. And we can swim. Look at that. How cool is that? Alright. Oh, what is that over there? Is that a village? Hold on, that's a fort. Oh, that might be... Oh, that doesn't look like a village. If anything, that could be a pillager fort. Okay, let's check it out. Swim. Swim. is about a little hut there yeah this looks like a pillager fort oh goblin king is this a goblin fort most likely all right in that case it is not a village so we're going to have to skip this we're not strong enough to take down This fort. So let's cross this way. Oh. And swimming counts as sprinting, so we have to re let her recharge for this as well. That is a bit annoying. Catfish? Terrif- what? Catfish. Now it has a red health bar, so that might mean it can attack us and I don't want to find out what is this giant salamander all right these are cows and we need leather because backpacks oh, is pretty much a necessity because we will run out of inventory space really quickly so, sorry that I have to do this. But I need your leather. How much should I have? Seven leather. I believe we need four to make a backpack. But we also need string. Rabbits. How cool. Oh. Wait. Pillagers. Okay. Let us not worry about pillagers right now. No, 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 no. See, I don't want to die too early. Let's play. Oof. We gotta find a village. That is not a village. That looks like an orc's fort. And this is like an abandoned house with goodies. Elong- wait, what? 
I don't know what this is. Empiric stick? Why are these sticks have... You can take the potatoes. What about you? Okay. Steel touch turtle shell of stubbornness. Hmm. <laughs> well, this can offer us some protection. Iron nuggets? We could take these. Wheat, we'll take, we'll take. Gold nuggets, we'll take. Alright, in that case. Oh! Run, 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 run. I'm under attack. Under attack. Swim, swim. So let's put on our sea turtle shell. Let's keep going. A bear. Oh. What is this? Little hut? Someone's little house. Oh, hello. Siegfried. Sorry to disturb you. We really need to find a village. And that is a goblin camp. Oh my. Now there are monsters nearby. What monsters? Sleeping. That is rats. We do not want to mess with rats. Those are nasty little buggers. Oh my goodness. Even in the daytime, a lot of things want to kill us. Alright, let us craft a boat. I'll be back once I found a village. Okay, so I found this tower. Let's check out what's inside. Cobwebs, I'll take. We need the string. <clears throat> Is there any foes here that mean to do us harm? Oh, I believe that's for. Oh, we have str okay, so we have enough to make a backpack. Fantastic. Emeralds, we'll take, white carpet, geometric gem, purity 33%, that seems quite low, a gem, still not sure what those do, anything, anybody home, crafting table, string, okay, nobody here. Fletching table. Redstone lamp. A block of redstone? We could take the redstone. <laughs> and uh, let us make ourselves a backpack. So, backpack. That is done with four leather, four string, and a chest in the middle. 
So let's do that. So let's make a chest first. Chest in the middle. I believe four string here and four leather. And that is a backpack. And let's equip it in our slot. So if you go here, that will open up the Curios inventory. And we have like a bunch of slots. And we'll put this backpack in the um, backpack slot. So here we are. We can see it. It's, it is in our back. And with the key bind, you can open it. And here we go. So we can put items now in our backpack. So how cool is that? We can put the... Blossom bow, redstone block in there. Seems good. Now we can upgrade our backpack with iron and that will give us more inventory space. And I finally found a village off in the distance. Not that, but over there. I believe that is a village. Now, on the way here, I had to cross an ocean and I came across a settlement with houses with a bunch of iron, piles of iron inside storehouses. So I have a bunch of raw iron. So we're pretty much set on that front. What is this? It's a hobbit hole? Anybody home? Hello, good sir. Bilbo Baggins. The Shire. Can I open your chest? Iron Forge, Chainmail Leggings. Blank Room. Leather, we'll take leather. Empty map. Smite, carrot on a stick. Take the books. Huh. String, an iron pickaxe, sure, gold ingots, book, paper, got all this stuff, oh my, checker block, um, shoot, ah, more food, what we need. We can take the honey, bread, dirty glass shark, potatoes, I did collect a lot of hay bales, so we have a lot of bread, so I don't need too much food. But we'll take what we can get. Huh. Put all this stuff away. It's over here. Oh, more chests. Books, leather. Fascinating. The hammock. Ah. Right. Let us go check out the village. Well, not this way. Go this way. Do, do, do. All right. So hopefully here we can find uh, the guild master, who will give us our very first quest. Let's claim this waystone. Very nice. Uh, let's 
see, anybody here? That is an airship. That is a dungeon. Anybody home? Doesn't look like anybody home. Where is the guildmaster? So this is a goddess statue here. We can trade spirit orbs for extra heart containers or extra stamina vessels. So make sure we keep uh, collecting those spirit orbs. Now where is the guildmaster? Anybody here? We have to make sure... Now, be careful when you open chests or break blocks in villages because if there's a villager nearby and they see you do that then your reputation is going to decrease and you won't be able to interact or trade with the villagers So... Destructive Iron Pickaxe. Plus 24% base mining speed. Don't mind if I do. We'll trade out our current pickaxe. Oh, Iron Golems. Okay, good sign, good sign. Okay, now we're finding villagers. Interesting, that's cool. Oh, is that it? Yep, okay. That is the Guildmaster Hut. And there he is. Here. Can I talk to you? Come here, please. Sir. Yes. Welcome. Seems this is your first time visiting the guild. Would you like to take on your first quest? Yes. Set our spawn point before we get attacked for no reason. Okay. You were saying? Yes. Ah, I don't think you will be able to find the eyes in your current condition. Come back to me once you've killed 10 pillagers. I'll give you the most important skill you can get in this dimension. Okay, we need to find and kill 10 pillagers. Okay, so um, this is a good place to stop. I'm going to, before I leave, I'm going to show you what we can do with our backpack with all the iron that we got. So what we can do is we can upgrade our backpack. We take it off. And all we have to do is just surround it with iron ingots, like so. And boom, we have an iron backpack. So we retain the, um, all of our stuff in the backpack, but now we get a lot more space. So you can do this with gold, it goes up to the next level, then diamonds, then netherite, and so on and so forth. So, here we are. Um, Thanks for watching the very first episode. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice day, and be nice to someone.